Hello everyone, welcome to my Sunday vlog. I'm going to take you on my Sunday routine, a little quick cleanup, what I tend to do in the morning. I'm not going to film the afternoon, it's just going to be a morning vlog to see if anybody is interested. My name is Cynthia, I am 25 years old, I am married, I don't have any kids, but I do have three fur babies that require a lot of attention. And I thought that it would be fun to start these videos because I hadn't seen anybody else on YouTube that was living the similar type of lifestyle as I am or only a select few. So I hope that maybe somebody enjoys it. Maybe it's going to be a few people that will enjoy it, but I'm going to do it nonetheless and see what's going to happen. done like this car situation <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get a proper camera for the car now I'm about to go pick up my mom because we are gonna go to church walking and running through the trip so now that I'm back from church, I'm going to do a little cleanup of the kitchen floors. I have to vacuum every single day because I have dogs and the weather is not that great right now. And I'm probably gonna clean up the bedroom. I'll try to take you along as much as I possibly can, but we'll see how much I can do with one hand.
you go approach. So if there's something that I see that needs to be cleaned, even if it is on Sunday and I don't, I try to at least take a rest from whatever I'm doing on Sunday, I will still um, clean it if I see that it really needs to be cleaned. Like this corner, look at that. Isn't that gross? So I'm just going to spray and wipe it away. And wipe it away. This is hard with one hand. And whatever this thing is. So my laundry machines are actually in my unfinished garage, but picture the floors that are going to look very beautiful and not quite as messy and gross as they are now. And anyway, I am starting a load of laundry now. I don't always do this on Sunday because I try to keep as much of laundry as possible to Monday, but sometimes clothes are overflowing and my husband might need some of these clothes for work tomorrow. So I'm gonna start with my darks and hopefully get all my darks done today and that will give me some more time tomorrow. So now I can say that I vacuumed started laundry. I am going to do this now. I'm going to make some banana bread. So my bananas are not too ripe, but I will try it anyway. I know some people on YouTube might say my cringe at this, but I'm going to start anyway and see if it turns out. I went to church and yes, I have to write it down because that is extra motivation to go. I don't always go and I should go more often. And then after this, in the afternoon, I need to go buy a card. Right, bananas. The recipe calls for two bananas. I'm actually making the recipe the lazy way. I'm going to make it the unhealthy, kind of more processed way. I'm going to, oops, that was the wrong way. So, the way that I'm making it, I've got on Pinterest, I'm going to make it with just this cake mix, an egg, some milk, and it should be pretty tasty. <laughs> I hope so. Friends, not to be preachy, but it is very important to buy organic milk and organic eggs if you can. Not to be preachy, but it is very good for your health to do that. If you can afford it, I understand not everybody can. I'm going to make a little mini type of loaf to see if it will turn out. Because if it does not turn out very well, then I will be very sad. I probably should have put the mix first. Learning friends, okay? This is hard being filmed. This is kind of intimidating. Okay, cake mix. Da, 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 da. Like, I make things using cake mix every week, but being filmed makes it kind of intimidating. <laughs> like, you question everything you do. Like, right now, why can't I open this? Because I'm so intimidated. For the three people that are going to watch this. to use olive oil. I think that is fine. Now, I really just eyeball it. Like, I'm that kind of person, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna see, maybe this will work out. Or, maybe, taste very good. I'm cleaning up all this mess now. If it can go in the dishwasher, it's going in the dishwasher. <laughs> I'll throw, I mean, I will rinse it over. I don't know if talking to you guys like this is just ruining my reputation or forming a bond with you. I'm hoping that it's forming a bond with you because this is the way that I'll speak with my friends. So, that's what I'm hoping that 
the three of you that will watch this are going to feel. Well, I can say they made it. I'm gonna forget to take it off unless I do it now. And I'm gonna wait for that bread for the minutes that it says in the box, which I threw out. I'm just gonna go with it. I know when it's ready. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a pro baker. I just know what it looks like when it's ready and you can just pour, poke a fork through it. And then I have to go buy the card. So I'll wait around and I will show you the bread and then I'm gonna have to say goodbye. I okay, end up making more videos. This is what I use all the time on my granite countertops. I've consistently taken my vitamins at the same time. Oops. This is difficult living through the camera. So, this is what I take if anybody's interested. B-complex. Curcumin. Actually, I'm going to wait to eat this with the banana bread because it needs to be taken with food. Um, uh, multivitamin. C and D, just because of where I live, it's recommended to take at least vitamin D. I know I'm getting enough C, but it's with it, just in case. Look at that. Okay, looks like it's pretty good. It's done, I'm going to let it cool, then I'm going to cut it, and I will have a little slice. It tastes more like cake, which it essentially is, and it tastes pretty delicious this way. Very good Pinterest find that was probably the easiest thing ever that a child could make it. And I'm going to go buy that card now. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Bye.